Managing your privacy on an Android device is quite easy, but you do need to know what you need to turn off in order to be very secure with this platform. So stay tuned to the end of this video for what is definitely the most important part of managing your privacy in Android. Now, what we're going to do is go into the settings menu and yours might look slightly different, but you can see I'm going into the gear icon. I'm using a Pixel 4 here. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the network and internet section and I'm going to show you that you can actually install a VPN. Now a VPN redirects traffic between your phone and the websites and the locations you are visiting. Now if you don't have a service for this, you will need to find one. I am currently using NordVPN on my phone and my computer. You can buy one subscription and install it on a number of devices this way. You can also just use the app to install it. Now, the other thing back on the main settings page that you might want to look at is in the security section and I'm going to go into the security update and make sure that I'm up to date because this is one of the easiest ways that an application or a website can actually steal information for you. So make sure that you are up to date at all times. Now, the next stuff we're going to do is back on the main private privacy screen for your operating system. Now we're going to scroll down and there's actually a section called privacy. We will start with the advanced section at the bottom and you can see a ton of different things that you have access to manage. Now the first one we're going to press on is the removal of using app data. So this is apps sending data to the Android system in order to give Google information on what you're using. So you may want to break that apart. The autofill service from Google I find very useful but you are providing them information that is up to you if you want to provide them that. Now the location history is kind of an entry point into something much larger so I'm not going to spend a lot of time in here but you could turn that off with that radio button sitting right there. The more important one is the activity controls and you can do this by account and you can also find this at account.google.com if you're on a PC or a Mac. Now what you're seeing here are different sections of activity that is being tracked by Google as you use the phone and what I'll tell you is that if you're an automator like me you need these all turned on in order for your Google Home products to work or the Google Assistant and you're going to need them on for lots of different features to work correctly but if you would like to manage things you can turn these off each by the radio button. So web and app activity, I just press that radio button and I can press pause and that will stop Google from tracking that activity. Now inside of ads, you can opt out of ad personalization. This doesn't necessarily mean that you are not providing data. It just means that you will not be given personalized ads and, and in a lot of cases, this will just mean that you won't be targeted based on what you've been talking about or what you've been uh, doing with your smartphone as of late. Now, usage and diagnostics, I always turn this off. I don't wanna be providing data for what I'm doing. Up at the top of the screen, showing passwords, this is just something visual for you. They will show the character you typed in when you actually start typing a password. And then the lock screen, again, this is a visual thing. You can show different content on your lock screen that you want to have available. So those two components are really just for people looking at your device physically. Now the most important piece is the permission manager and this is all the different applications on your smartphone that have access to these different components. So whenever you go into a section you will actually see the apps that have requested this permission and the ones that you have granted access. Now the camera and the microphone are especially concerning for you and your privacy. So you need to really look at this and make sure that these applications need access to you and your camera or your microphone. And if you don't, 
need that, you don't need to use this on a regular basis, then turn that off because when you go into those applications, they are able to use those in any way they see appropriate. This is not to say that the app manufacturers are doing anything terrible with this access, but this is one of the ways that they can gain a lot of information from you in a lot of different ways. And I have in the past told stories on my main Automate Your Life channel about how the microphone, the location, and the camera have been used against me personally in some of these applications. So turn those off for each of the applications you do not need. Now, if you'd like to follow us on Automate Your Life or follow us here on Automate Your Tutorials for great content like this, please do. Otherwise, our iOS video is up on screen so you can manage your iOS privacy as well. Thanks for watching and of course, don't hate, automate.